In this video, we will learn about variables and data types. You can think of variables as containers for storing data. Once you define it, you will be able to access and manipulate it. To create a variable, you first enter the variable name, followed by the assignment statement, and then the value. I will show you some of the data types available in Python that will give you enough knowledge to start playing around and write your own codes. As we advance, I will introduce you to more complex data types and you will learn them by doing. One very important data type is called string. Let me just uncomment that code. And a string is the following. When you want to assign a text to a variable, you need to type that text in between quotes. And those quotes, so in that case, is a double quote, but you can also have single quotes. I prefer to use double quotes, but that's up to you. Here, we, so we know that function called print, so from previous videos, but now I'm going to introduce you to another Python function called type. Once you type type, that returns the type of that data. So let's see what it does. So I save that code, clean, oh, there's nothing to clean. So and then I, I type Python script and I get Brazil space class or class, sorry, is string. Don't worry about that class, but basically that class just tells that that variable is an object and the type of that object is a string. Just pay attention on that end of those so it has class and something just pay attention on that something right in the end you'll be able to write your own class which is basically uh, you'll be able to write or to develop your own data types but for now let's just use the data types which comes built in with python the first one is a string and again when you want to assign a text to a variable use string perfect that's a string quite important Another one which is quite important is called boolean and boolean actually is returning either a true or false. For instance, if I ask you, hey, are you happy? And I said, yeah, yeah, I'm quite happy. So and then that you would return true. If I run that code and then I see that happy, so we assign true to happy and then when you print happy, we got true and the type of that variable of that object is boolean and why is that important we use a lot boolean for what for evaluating expressions so for instance if i say hey is one larger than two or is one smaller than two those evaluation you can do all the time and then it says hey no no one is not larger than two and then it's returned false and when you do hey is one smaller than two and it returns, yeah, it is, it is smaller than two. And basically you can just use Boolean and combine that with if statements with for loops. And so we're gonna be a bit fancier later, but knowing Boolean is quite important. And that's the reason why I'm, pre I'm presenting to you now. Another data type, and that relates to number, is integer. And integer is basically a uh, data type for numbers again, but for whole numbers, for instance, when someone asks, hey, how old are you? And I said 18 or 25 or 30, that's a whole number, right? And that example is a positive, so positive number, but negative number is also included. So now if I run it, what do I have? 25. And what is the data type? Int. And int stands for integer. Okay, that's the first numerical data type. And the second one, and when you have continuous data, and so for instance, my height is 1.78 meters, yeah? And height, and another example would be, for instance, time, when you have continuous variable, and then that continuous variable is called float. And if you want to, to know, ah, is it an integer or float? So if there is a decimal, it's a float. If there is not a decimal, then it is an integer. So if I save it now, run it, okay, and it says 1.78, it is a float. Perfect. Now I want to present you to one of the most versatile data type in Python. And there are so many cool things we can do with that. And the thing you need to know, you can have any kind of data type inside a list, even another list. So here I create a list called my list and inside that list in the first element, 
I gave an string, and that's called apple. Uh, by the way, to define a string, you should be using those square brackets, and then you just populate things inside it. So the first element is a string, the second element is a boolean, the third element an integer, then a float, and the last element is another list. So you see that it's quite interesting to know how to deal with that. If I run it, now I have our list printed and the type is list. Your task here is to describe that snake called Kika. Kika has two friends, Oli and Bob. Here, I have created all the variables, but there is no value assigned to them. Stop the video and add the correct data type. Try to use each instance of data type you just learned. All right, the snake's name is Kika. So let me just type Kika here. I will comment from line three to line seven, and I will try to run that code. Python, what is the name of the file? Exercise, exercise.py. And it says, hey, Kika is not defined. And that's right, why? Because when we create a variable, we should always define a value to that. Actually, we are assigning a value to that. So now I'm just trying to assign Kika to name. However, Kika has no value assigned to that. So if you want to give a text and assign a text to a variable, it should come in quotes. Perfect. Then that's the definition of a string data type. What about her color? Kika has a green color and that's also and it's a string right perfect that was kind of easy what about friends does kika have friends yeah it does so what can we use here we can use true so true is boolean and just put that guy together perfect how many friends does it have? So it has two friends. What about length? So the picture doesn't show any length, right? So we can assume. So now here friends is an integer. integer. So one numerical data type has been used. Let's just use a second one. Now I'm gonna assume it has, or it is 1.8 1 meters. Then if it's a decimal, that's gonna be a float. And what about friend's name? And here we finally can assign a list to friend's name. So first we have Oli, Oli the cat, and also Bob, Bob the dog. Perfect. And now the, the data type is list. And perfect. There you are. 